All right, so the update is currently out over here on KR. They officially launched it, but um, the JP update will come out in like five hours, I think. So we got some time till then. But I thought I'd show it to you because we have a king over here. The thing that I wanted to see and the reason I loaded this up so quickly, I'm just curious if it's the same artwork and everything in the background. Because, dude, that means, like, how did you get that is my question. Like, you loaded all that information. That, that is a leak that we never, ever got in our life. Like, yeah, it is the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Nah, bro. It has to be a dev. <laughs> it has to be a dev. There's no shot. It's not a dev, bro. I'm so confused that you got everything like that. You got the whole banner loaded up. Like, think about that. How did you get the whole banner loaded up? Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> same thing, dude. Nah, but his in-game model and his artwork look so different. They look the same, but it's just like... That artwork is nuts. Have you seen the artwork for him? Oh, my God. So, we'll check out his animations and everything. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. But, yeah um dude see his artwork that's his artwork over there. that's the cut in it looks so freaking good so we'll see the uh regular uh single target i think this is a single target right yeah i think this is the one there you go very very gluxini ish right same thing kind of here we go damn <laughs> damn okay not bad have the regular one over here for the aoe i think this is the aoe yes yeah, the aoe 100 okay yeah Looks like a very basic attack here. Just spins around. I like it, bro. I like it, bro. Pull the pull the Beyblade right there. I don't know. We have the uh, the ult over here. Let's check that out real quick. If I can click. There we go. Let's see. The costume looks pretty good, though. Dude, I don't know. The costume looks very good. <laughs> but I'm not summoning right now. If the collab really is technically, like, next. Because we know Shin is the step up, right? So, I don't know. Because... Is the collab going to happen in January? We've never had that happen before. But why did the collab get leaked? Out of all things, how did the collab get leaked? Right? You would have leaked the... Because we thought it was a catastrophe update. You leaked the catastrophe. How did how did the collab just pop up? Like, they just caught it straight for no reason. The collab was just there. They're like, ah, let's leak that too. So maybe they, maybe they were working on it. Because remember, collabs have to be like kind of ironed out very early. So maybe they were just working on the collab or something. I don't know. Because I still... I don't know. Because you're going a catastrophe... I don't know. Maybe we don't get a catastrophe update. I have no idea. But that is what uh, King looks like. Looks very, very cool. Very, very hyped about this. Um, sadly, like, we'll have to see how his kit is. His shield isn't, like, all that. So we're going to have to see how he turns out. I don't think he's going to be, like, you know, that good. But his relic does apply. All that stuff does apply. The banner, though, isn't too terrible, actually, right? Because, again, you have to think about it. Three characters a lot of people may not have or have skipped are here. So that's first off the case. If you didn't get this from the free banner... Uh, it's there if you want to dupe him out also for Chaos Arena when that returns. Uh, this over here, don't want dupes for per se. This for dupes, again, for Chaos Arena or whatnot. Um, if you don't have this, if you don't have these, I think Get Hard is, like, in a way hard to pull. Um, so that is there. But the banner itself isn't that bad, so there is that. Uh, they finally officially reran the, uh, <laughs> the final boss, by the way. So that is officially back. It took them forever uh, to officially rerun that thing. But um, it is back. Final Boss Escanor is the, uh, the new final boss, which is very, very cool. Uh, currently, I don't have my uh, KR account leveled up enough to actually get to it, which is sad. Um, do I have my original KR account? Give me a second. Maybe I load up that original one so I can show you what the fun was looks like. Luckily, I did find my original original thing, so uh, <laughs> that is there. I had no idea what this account was, bro. It took me like five minutes to find it. I was, I was like, dude, does this thing still, still exist? It does. Um, I don't even know what I did with this account in the end, but this is it. Uh, Final Boss is back officially, and not only that, they actually brought back an additional weapon, I think. I think it's this, it's, so this is the one there, but they brought back this one over here. So it's been a very long time since it apparently was here, just keep that in mind. Uh, but they didn't give LR Quins this time, which is shocking. So, um, I'm guessing because they gave it to you in Labyrinth, they told you to, like, you know, F off here. Uh, but yeah, no, like, even doing 20 LR Quins was fine, but they didn't even do 20 LR Quins. Uh, so no LR Quins in this update, really. Uh, nothing basically was here. So, True Awakening has started, now the Shaft has begun, I guess. Uh, or they're going to start the LR thing next week, so they don't want to give you anything right now, because they don't want you to be ready, right? <laughs> it's kind of the whole point. Uh, we have this headpiece over here also, which I think is the Legend, the Final Boss Legend one. So they reran that also. So two cosmetics, which weren't originally a part of this thing, um, are now here. Uh, remember, this was originally the hardest one, so I wonder if that is still the case. But we have the other uh, rewards here, three of these, bunch of these, bunch of these, standard stuff here. Um, I don't know if SA coins are always here, but they are here now. So keep that in mind, but... That is the rewards over here for uh, for this final boss. And then again, the gems associated to ranking. That is now what you get over there. Uh, beyond that, though, the event over here is still active. The bingo event is a new one over here. Uh, it gives you just a bunch of SA coins and um, pendants. 
That's their response. Like, right? This this is what they're doing now. This is their response uh, to shafting you. The only thing now, so like if they take care of giving us more of these, right? Because you have to realize if you increase the flow of these pendants and everything, it's helpful. Yeah, if you're if you're releasing a UR character with like three to four months, it's fine to be honest, if you're giving more of these, which in this update, they do a better job at it. Remember, you need 60 for the character. Uh, technically, it's a 30 increase. So you need 30 pendants. This update alone gives you like, what, 18 of them. So it's not terrible, but that's their solution in a way. Now the only thing left is that the stupid uh, mode itself, it should not be a freaking SSR coin to redo it. Like, huh? <laughs> Dude, even I don't have that many coins. And I summon a lot more uh, compared to a lot of people, right? So, I mean, help me, devs. Thank you. Well, I'm unlucky, so who knows? But um, there's also this. The new special thing has started for the, uh, the five events. Um, they are pretty cool. There are some new ones this time, so it's not the same repeat things. Uh, we do have the newer ones now here, so it's a brand new spank, brand spanking new, not not rerun whatever. It's um yes, it's taking the story elements, but at least it's a new volume of it. I'm pretty sure we didn't have the my yellow ones being here, uh, so it's like a it's they take the mode or the same story point a uh, point and up it <laughs> to like hell difficulty. So if you're able to beat it, hey, have fun. But um that's there for an extra five gems on top of the entire update. Uh, and then again, New Year 2024 Artifact Wish Gotcha is still going on, apparently. Yeah, that has not expired. Uh, the Diamond Payback event is still going on. And I think this is still going on also. So that's really if the new events, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything else? Oh, it's this also. Uh, they brought back this again with three SA coins and two pendants. That's going to be going on for two weeks. So you have two weeks to enjoy with that thing. Um, so again, do keep that in mind. Then there's... Now it's everything, right? Now, now I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure they didn't add any new costumes either um, for for New Year's or anything, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Yeah, there's nothing here, right? Yeah, so costume sale is still active over here on JP, or rather KR, but they officially have ended this event. This event is now over, so you have to realize when Global gets the patch notes, put that in your, in your brain that, oh, that means that uh, this shop will go away. So if you want to purchase anything, that's your decision now. Do that now. Decide right now. Do I want to purchase anything? Do I want to do that? Um, I do have four multis. You want me just to summon real quick? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> I always promise summons in these videos, so I'll just do it if you want to see some summons real quick. Uh, I always promise it, but, I mean, why not? Why not? But, uh, character looks really cool. Will I summon on global? Nah. It's not worth it just because if it really is a collab next, definitely I don't want to pull for that. Uh, I'd rather just get one copy of each of the collab units. Again, as much as we say, like, oh, it's a bad IP, people still end up summoning because they're forced to. If there are good characters, it's worth it, but... I just hope, again, they give us Overlord, so I really can't personally complain, but we all knew Tower God was coming. I, I told you. <laughs> so at least I'll take a W there for telling you. Sadly, I don't want it, so I don't want the W, actually. I don't want the W. But, um, yeah, it, it's we knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. It's like, it, they're good at cross-promo. That's what they do. Netmarvel is like the CEOs of um, kind of cross-promoing their stuff, right? Where they want, like, they want you to play their other game, so they're going to promo their other game to you, right? Just like Tower God New Worlds. I was like, okay... You know, great. We got a collab announced, but it's Netmarble. They're going to probably do one of their own IPs. What happened? The speculation was correct. I, I said that, and it happened. Seven Nights was the collab, which is their own property. Uh, so it's like, when Origin comes out, whether you like the game or not, whether you play the game or not, you'll probably expect to see some sort of thing. If they do collabs, one of their own IPs, because they love to cross-promo. Um, like KOF, another game that they're doing, they put it here. So it's like, that's just how it goes. Simply put, so. Again, I expected it. So I won't say that I'm shocked. I'll say that I'm depressed. Huge difference. But um, if the if the characters are good, it's not that bad. Uh, I play Tower Guard New World, so I know what to expect and I know how they are. They better not make Zahard some like weak character. That guy's like insane. <laughs> they make him weak. He's like absolutely shafting the game. He's like top three characters in Tower Guard New World. Uh, Viol is just busted in Tower Guard New World. How are you gonna make him fold here, right? Uh, Yuri's like mid as hell, <laughs> even though she's like in the uh, the actual webtoon strong as hell. It's funny as crap, but I, they better not fumble it. But yeah, that's the event. Thanks for watching. First look, uh, some summons, and uh, some fun. So yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.